some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Massachusetts with Press NH now as he encounters a situation that he's probably never encountered before. He ends up getting a little wet and he turns into a pissy little beta boy. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? They do what they want. Rules for thee, but not for me. Oh, she reads books. You sound shocked that somebody would actually read. What's the matter, Marky boy? Uh, is your reading level not quite up to par? Let me guess what your reading level would be at. Uh, kindergarten? Oh, wait, pre-K? Something like that? I'm pretty sure it's at that level or somewhere along those lines, because considering, well, you don't know much about anything in the reality, yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised that if it was that at the very most. Got a bunch of dog bones. Who? The her. Hello, everybody. You want to let them know that they have an uninspected vehicle here and they're driving it around like nobody's watching. But here I am. Two months late. Two months! They've had to get this vehicle inspected. Ma'am, can I have your name, please? 41, Section 98D states you have to identify yourself working in the police department's capacity. Is that a lawful request, Frauditor? Considering on here, it does say a lawful request in the paragraph. So, kind of makes you wonder. Because, you know, you frauditors keep on saying, as long as the order is lawful, is this a lawful request? Vehicle, please step out of the vehicle. You're violating the law, ma'am. Leave it here, get it inspected. I suggest you don't move the vehicle, ma'am. This is your warning. Uninspected, unregistered vehicle. Rules for thee, but not for me. There she goes. Let them know, guys. You'd get a ticket. Hey, Marky boy, if you are so concerned about the decals, maybe you should get a job as a meter maid. Maybe you can uh, go out there and uh, take care of business. But I know exactly why you don't do that. Because, well, it's easier to do this rather than actually having a job. And I'm sure they won't hire somebody who has less than a fifth grade education and the mental capacity of a lobotomized rock. How are you doing? What's, what you see is what you get, man. I don't, I don't understand what that means. What you see is what you get? Yeah. What, what does that mean? Do Taking pictures. pictures. I don't really need to. I mean, it's common sense. I'm taking pictures, right? Well, it's common sense for who? To, 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 to me, that. Oh, it is? Yeah, it Do you is. have a, what's your name and badge number, first okay, of all? Okay, I'm Viderius, V-O-R-D-E-R-I-S. Awesome. Yeah. You got a badge number? Oh, uh, did you? Yeah, you can just 13. Th it's just 13? Just 13, Okay, yeah. you got your body cam on? I do. Awesome. Yeah. You, were you going to tell me that, or? Because that's a little suspicious, too. That's suspicious? <laughs> I don't think so. I think that's the industry standard these days. Is it really? Yeah. Well, you'd be surprised. Okay. All right. So you're just videotaping people as they're coming and going? I don't know. Maybe. Are you security? Why are you false advertising for security? That's what you're saying. I also got a badge, too. Yeah, what's that badge say? It says shiny badges don't grant extra rights. Yeah, shiny badges don't grant extra rights. 
Just as holding a camera doesn't grant you any extra rights either. It doesn't grant you the right to go into secure areas. It doesn't grant you the right to stay out of jail when you act like a complete buffoon and get trespassed. Now, does it? But of course, I wouldn't expect Marky Boy to understand any of that after all the, uh, well, uh, lead paint chips he's been consuming over the years. Yeah, they completely rotted away his brain. Is that what Yo says? Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, do you, uh, you don't mind... Let me sweep you real quick, do you? Get the hell out of here, you sweep me. You. Get out of here, how about that? Yeah. You suck! 25 right now. Total, or? What? Is that total, or? Uh, I think about 40 gallons on that thing. Oh, wow. Diesel? Yep. Nice. You don't fill up your own vehicles with that, do you? Are you guys allowed to, or? No. Do you know why? Or? Three vehicles only. Oh, really? Who are you with? I'm just by myself. I'm not with any organization or anything. You have permission to be in the yard filming? Out here? Yeah. What do you mean? It's all public area, all public. Not for filming, though. What do you mean, not for filming? There's no different. In public, yeah. All day long. You know, given the heavy equipment in that lot and everything else of that matter, I suppose that old Marky boy here wouldn't be welcome in here anyway, considering he's not employed here and therefore it's an insurance liability. It's not a public area, you dumbass. <laughs> That's assault, buddy! That's assault! Do that again! Oh, come on now, you little beta bitch boy! You call that assault? I would, uh, barely even call that getting a little, uh, misty right there. And just for context, I'm gonna show you a little clip from a Houston Jones video that was done a couple weeks ago where he was actually hit with the the power of a fire truck hose that was owned by Kentucky Ballistics. And well, it did injure uh, Houston a little bit, but it will show what it's actually like to get hit by one of these things at, well, not exactly full power, but close enough. There, get low. You have to get low, low. Ready? Here we go. Got it. Here we go. Oh, come on, you do another! Oh, here we go! Oh, no! And look how Houston took that like a damn man. Well, you just got barely got a mist over there, and you're crying like a little beta bitch boy, cuck dipshit dumbass! Feel one yourself. I promise you. You like pepper spray? Yeah, you want to go up against a fire hose with a canister of pepper spray? Yeah, that is not exactly the smartest thing you can do. In fact, I'm thinking of the game Rock, Paper, Scissors, but in this case, uh, Fire Hose would most certainly beat out Pepper Spray. In fact, I think that the uh, water would definitely uh, negate that uh, Pepper Spray before it even got to him. There's one thing for sure about you, Marky Boy. Nobody ever said that you were the most intelligent man on the planet. Hurts a lot more than water. Kind of felt good. It is a little warm out here, so. He's just mad because the cops told him to. <laughs> Look at his attitude. Look at it. Watch. He's going to try to hit me with the hose again. His actions speak louder, so.
Yeah, actions speak louder than words. Yeah, I'll agree with you on that. And his actions right here suggest that he is most likely ignoring you, which is an action that you don't seem to like whatsoever. It's quite funny, really. And it's quite funny that you're trying to make a mountain out of a molehill over here with a getting a little bit wet. Are you going to melt, you fragile little snowflake? Is that what it's going to amount to, that you're afraid you're going to melt if you get wet or something like that? Oh, boy. Maybe we should get you wet. Maybe you'll melt like the Wicked Witch of the West. Do not engage. Do not engage. Probably what they told him. All right, everybody, that's going to be it over here today at the Newberry Port, Massachusetts Department of Public Services for our First Amendment audit. Yeah, and what a First Amendment audit it was. Once again, we find out that, uh, Mark Manchin is a beta bitch boy cuck. Yeah, I mean, crying over getting a little bit wet because the guy was too damn close to the machinery when the worker was spraying it. Talk about being a complete and utter idiot. Yeah, Mark Manchin, you're not exactly the smartest guy out there, are you? So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?